Uh, number one, make sure you're getting your kicks in. Talent into the single target stun as well, and I kind of alternate that with my kicks. When you jump out of the razor eyes, do make sure you're double jumping before you're moving in any direction because you will get killed. And then I would probably move back towards it for the Chaos Nova stun. Uh, Chaos Nova, when it hits a bunch of uh, enemies, it will produce all these life orbs, which are great. You just kind of keep them there. You don't really want to collect them unless you need them. And if you move close to them, you're just going to absorb them anyway. But we use a stun there, kick's not up, then we kick and drag this guy back to it. Also, the additional targets are great for uh, I beam leech and AoE glaive leech. I don't know the name of that ability. The old artifact ability, right? Um, and again, double jump. We collect a bunch of orbs automatically, right? Because they're just sitting there. And if you move and you're kind of near, also using imprison for a, a foe interrupt just to buy you a little bit of time. And you can see we're back towards here. I think I beam catches a little bit of that stuff on the back end. And again, that's just nice to have the additional leech. I do believe I'm running life stealing on one of my weapons. Which I think is the BFA enchant. Gives you a little bit more leech. 10%? Unsure. You can also do the intermission phases. Definitely kick that draw power instantly. You can also do the intermission phases like normally, but honestly, uh, no thanks. Demon Hunter has the tools. Again, we use the imprison to get buy ourselves just a little bit of time. Every little bit of time you can buy when you're getting chunked with frost blasters are, are very, very nice. Single target stun. And again, you're looking for the sparkle. Sometimes not super obvious. And we use the meta jump to get there. And yeah, why not? What's kind of harder to do, but uh, it doesn't require you to use metamorphosis. Uh, that's had probably proper to use it here anyway. Um, you know, you can... Vengeful Retreat in the direction of the Sparkles. I was kind of having trouble seeing it. And if you Vengeful Retreat over the middle, like, you can definitely burn yourself up. So, just be careful when you do it. And if you're someone who's doing it quick, maybe just take that extra second to, to make sure you're, you're aiming it in the right direction. Shadow Barrage is just, like, free... You know, you're not taking damage moment here. And you see, just moving picks up those uh, those health orbs for me. Also, the additional leech from demon form is very, very nice. And we... Demon Hunter speed, definitely one of the, the big assets here. And I'm trying to get back here so I can chaos and over these things but I know they're already gone there's nothing we can do you know when in doubt just blasting uh, single target damage with a little bit of leech you have is very very good so if you're getting trucked and you're not glued to the boss damaging them that can also be something that's that's gonna get you but of course rotating your stuns this was easy easy remember you just have you have a little bit longer than you think and and again you can go into one of those uh barriers kill an ad and take your time a little bit more but double fell rush super nice he has to draw power for like a second and a half or two seconds before he gets any stacks of it so not too worried just make sure that you are keeping your interrupt available for that nice thing you do with Xylem is between these phases, you can see I'm doing this right now, I switch off my life-stealing weapon. Since weapon scale, there's no reason not to. I switch on to Master of the Glaive, which is a snare attached to uh, Glaive Toss and gives you a second charge. This is the 
the big burn here. If you're not blasting this whole time, uh, you're going to be in trouble. That said, Demon Hunter has pretty easy time with the ads, as long as you have I-Beam up. And you can see, if you're running the CDR talent on I-Beam, I have 20 seconds from seeds, you know, I-Beam's 30 plus CDR. I knew I could pop that one right off the rip and, uh, and have it up for seeds. Also, Seeds is a, you know, a six-second channel, so you know you got some time. And then you can see there's a minute between each. We chaos over these. Not at all for the health. Glaive Toss puts that, I think, at 70% reduction. And just make sure you are glued to them and are, you're killing them. You gotta go fast. Woo. And we're always just backing up just a little bit at a time. You can see my cyclotronic trinket came back up. 20 seconds on meta, so we're going to wait to lust until meta comes back up. Because that'll pretty much fill it. And we'll probably wait for the seeds of darkness. Yeah, we're not going to meta until after seeds. Because we have 15 seconds on seeds, 5 on meta. And we're not going to I-beam yet because we won't get it back. It'd be dicey if I I-beam here. There's no way. Right. And just ch chopping away. You're just chopping trees down. Not moving until you have to. If you don't go to China here, it's probably okay. But again, the, the AoE Glaive into the I-beam. Didn't even need the snare, but you know, it's there. And then you want to get back to this quickly, because if he if he makes too much progress towards, you know, we lust, we potion, we meta, we blast. And if you can remember to uh, spend most of your fury before you I beam, uh, you'd be all right. You just need enough to cast it. We're just doing this kind of S key. You can't fall off the edge here. And this will buy you as much time as you can. You can see I'm kind of still in that mechanic and you really just don't want to mess around with that. But you can, you can survive one tick and then you know like, oh god, I really have to back up a little bit. We have a minute left on seeds. This is probably my last seeds. We should I be in here. I got a little spawn to add a word, but adds really no problem. Demon Hunter made for this stuff. You zip back into the corner. Probably do get this last set of seeds in 30. And running out of room here, you see I took a tick of the ground. It's getting kind of kind of desperate here. You, no I beam, no, we're out of meta. We're not doing any damage. Meta is up, or uh, sorry, I beam. Well, we press I beam here. That's a dicey I beam. Also, abyssal healing potions. Uh, if you have those, like a full heal. Um, unsure if I use one. We had no I beam here, but we do have mo. Both glaives, AOE glaive, and I guess Ivy comes up right in time. So, you know, you, you definitely don't want to, like, not have it up, but, you know, you do have time to. To deal with the ads if, if you just need a couple more seconds on the Ivy. But again, just don't get hit by the creeping darkness. You're trying to save as much uh, room as you possibly can. 15k. And we're just... Annihilate, annihilate, annihilate. Not bad. I've definitely finished this with way less room. Uh, I think Warrior was a lot less room. <laughs> I, I think I took two ticks and was going to die to a third on the Warrior. Boom. And this happened to be how I got my sword and spell tome, so...